Hello, it's Rafael Gutierrez again, and uh, before I, I am going to talk about steroids and uh, martial arts, and uh, it's actually kind of a really interesting story, what I found, uh, and I think so, a lot of you will enjoy it, but before I do, I actually do want to tell you guys about my uh, book signing that I did this last weekend, uh, and I, it was a lot of fun, I actually, according to the bookstore, I did really well, uh, I ended up selling 10 books there, so I guess that's uh, that's considered a good sale. Uh, well, one of the things uh, I did want to do is I do want to actually give you guys uh, an opportunity to get a couple of the books free. Uh, I'm going to be giving probably a copy or two of the Serious and the Rarest Things and probably a copy or two of the Breaking Points. Uh, the idea that I do want is I do want people to actually read it and review it. Uh, hopefully you guys like it and uh, I get a good review. But the, that's one of the big things that I was interested in. Uh, Serious and the Rarest Thing is actually based on me going to Okinawa training for under people for a while and uh, you know a lot of different things happened to trigger that. Uh, for those of you who have ever read any of the uh, books on uh, people leaving to go train somewhere, usually you find out that there was something that triggered it. Uh, so uh, one of the things if I am going to ask if any of you can write down how you think I should uh, end up giving away the books. I will sign them and email mail them to you. Uh, I'm going to try to be do it everywhere. I had found that sometimes to send them to other countries outside the U.S. It sometimes costs more than the book is worth. But uh, I, I am still willing to do that. Uh, I just you know want to make sure that whoever does is going to enjoy the book and review it on Amazon or uh, if they have the YouTube blog, they can do that there too. So. What I wanted to talk about today is uh, testosterone. Now, testosterone is one of the steroids that people actually a lot of times use as a performance enhancement drug. Now, one of the things I found is I ended up looking online and I found a lot of articles where the UFC had actually uh, records show that there was no benefit in the usage of testosterone for the sport, uh, MMA sport. Now, that may sound odd to everyone until you find, realize some of the effects that testosterone does have. Then it becomes really logical that you know using something that makes using something like testosterone won't necessarily make you uh, give you an advantage on something like UFC or MMA in general. Now, first I want to tell you what testosterone is. Testosterone is a hormone made out of cholesterol, and it is a fat soluble hormone which is difficult for the body to regulate uh, once it's made. So pretty much, if the hormone is made by your body. It's sent out almost immediately and goes to every cell that uses that to grow bigger, to make stronger bones. Uh, and that right there is one of the things that should give you a clue why it doesn't help necessarily in things like uh, MMA. Uh, the fact that it makes you grow bigger and heavier. Uh, now there are two places that you're going to make testosterone. One of them is the adrenal gland in a place called zona reticularis. The other one is only found in men, it's the testes. Now, if you are using exogenous testosterone, one of the things that happens is your body stops making normal testosterone. What that means is your testes actually stop producing the testosterone, which can end up leading to a lot of different types of, uh, of uh, sexual dysfunction. Uh, people don't realize that. They kind of think, oh, well, you know, more is better, and I'm going to be able to you know, be an animal in bed. And the truth is, it ends up ha what ends up happening is apparently it does tend to lead to sterility and a lot of other things that uh, because of the amount of testosterone that you have and the fact that the testosterone being made isn't made in the testes anymore. Now, what are the side effects of, testosterone, of using testosterone? There are mild fluid retention, which means you're going to carry more water weight. So as you try to cut weight by dehydrating yourself, you will maintain more of the fluid than normal, which means you're actually heavier. Uh, there's also a lot of problems, for instance, they actually do cause a disruption of sleep cycles. As you have more testosterone, it's harder for you to get a full night's rest, apparently, especially when you get to the point of getting bigger, as you would in, uh, in a uh, puberty type effect. The other thing that we find is that there's a lot more risk of blood clots in the veins. Now, this is actually extremely dangerous for anyone in MMA because you are taking damage and you can get endothelial damage by kicks, punches, even some of the uh, chokes can end up causing damage to the blood vessels. So what ends up what can end up happening is, while it hasn't happened yet, 
potentially, as far as I know, potentially you could end up getting more clots. The other thing is we do find an increase in acne when there's a lot more testosterone and acne a lot of times is based on bacterial bacteria and so it would be something that may be p possible you'd have an increased risk of staph infections. Now with all this together it pretty much says that the side effects really may not be may not be uh, worth the uh, benefits. Now what are the what are the uh, benefits of testosterone? Well, one of them is increased muscle mass, uh, increased muscle growth. You also do have increased bone density, and these are the effects that most people are looking for. Now, think about this. If you're in a sport where there's no weight class, being way more can give you more power. It can make it easier for you to take hits. That's great. You know, it sounds great. But in things like uh, MMA and boxing and wrestling, you do have weight classes, which means that by taking testosterone, you may get a benefit, but it comes at an increased weight gain. As you increase weight gain, one of the things that ends up happening is that you now move to a different division. So you may be bigger, stronger, and faster. Bigger and stronger, apparently you actually do become a little slower, they've come across, but the uh, competitors you're at were also going to be bigger and stronger. So all you've done is moved yourself from one category to another, isn't gonna show much effect. And that's one of the things that the records from UFC apparently are showing that these people who are caught taking steroids usually are on, usually don't have good record. They had good records and then they're pretty much on their way out. Uh, the testosterone, you know, they're, they're trying to bulk up when what's happening, and what's happening is they're fighting at a, a level that's higher than them. Uh, they're, a weight class, that's what, would be higher than what they would normally be. Uh, you think about it, a lot, some of one of the side effects is also uh, fluid retention. So even when you're cutting weight, it becomes a little harder. Now, there is a, another thing that people actually usually talk about, and that's, uh, they call it roid rage. Now, and that is uh, when people do have a little bit more testosterone than usual, uh, like sort of maybe uh, tend to have a little myself, but, uh, one of the things that happens is an increased amount of rage. Now, this is really hard to tell what, how, how it works because it is affecting the mind itself and not just the hormones, not just the body, but the brain itself. And the question is why, you know, one of the things you end up seeing is not everyone who goes on testosterone or testosterone replacement therapy ends up getting really bad uh, roid rage. And sometimes it doesn't even seem to be dose dependent or uh, level dependent. And the reason has to do with the way the mind works. Now, chances are a lot of these studies are done with people who are uh, using it for medical reasons, so they end up increasing, maybe they go a little more, but they are under the idea that they are getting something for a reason. Now, when you're dealing with uh, athletics, you're talking about someone whose mind is already, finds it okay to cheat, even with knowing that this cheating is going to end up uh, causing massive side effects on them. I mean, you, know, you, you have an increased rate of uh, heart, you know, heart problems uh, as you uh, increase the uh, exogenous testosterone. So one of the big things is when people don't care about even their own body for them to get an advantage, it may be that these people already have it in their mind something that's going to uh, trigger a rage. It may be that they're, they just needed that little push from testosterone to get it. So it may be, again, may, be that there are too many factors to really see if it's just the testosterone or the character that the person who would actually take testosterone would have. Now, I hope you guys would enjoy, enjoy this. I hope this answers a lot of questions, and uh, I hope that some of you actually will uh, comment in the bottom, tell me how I might be able to give away, give you guys some books, and uh, if you read the books, if you uh, wouldn't mind doing a review, it'd really be helpful. Uh, and if there's any questions you think I can answer, uh, I'm more than happy to answer them. I do have actually a couple different ideas that I have in mind, which I haven't been able to get around to, but I figure this one would be a great one to do. Uh, well, thank you everyone. And I want to thank the Upstart Crow bookstore uh, for letting me sign my book there. Uh